Do you like your bourbon? Bourbon has been distilled since the 18th century. It is strongly associated with the South, but there is someone who's joining me this morning who has a lot to say about bourbon and knows all about the history. Media personality and best-selling author Fred Minnick is with us this morning. Nice to have you on Good Day. It's so great to be here to give you your first bourbon breakfast of your life. <laughs> I'm excited about I don't, this. You know, I'm not a bourbon drinker, mm -hmm. but what makes you have the best bourbon palate in the world? Well, it all goes back to when I got home from Iraq, I started challenging myself through a, te a technique called taste mindfulness, studied with master sommeliers, ma master distillers. I didn't know I had a talent for tasting growing up, but come to find out in my moment of trying to get myself better, I found out I had a, an ability to taste things that I didn't know I could. And I'd let 15 years later, here I am about to get Big shot. convert a tequila drinker into a <laughs> bourbon fan. Going okay. to do it. So tell me, let's start with the first one. All right. I, first of all, is it, is it strong? So this one's 100 proof. This is 1792. Uh, bourbon has to be made in the United States of America. This, these, uh, the, these two are made in Kentucky. This one is distilled in Indiana. Okay. Now, what we first we want to do is we want to analyze the color. When we look at the color, that's an indication of its time in the barrel. When it goes in that barrel, it clears the water from your tap. So it's working okay. in and out of that wood every day. All that color is coming from the barrel. So this looks like tea right now. Is tea? that okay? Yeah, tea, like a dark uh, russet color. Okay. Swirled around a little bit. Bring it to your nose. And when you smell bourbon, smell with your mouth open. Oh. So smell it with the, your mouth open a little bit. I can't smell with my mouth open. Just bring it in here. Let, let's just a little bit go side by side. Nose, side by side with your nose. It's strong, Fred. And then put, uh, put a little bit on your tongue. And when you put it on your tongue, just put a little bit there and kind of focus on what part of the tongue is it hitting. So the tip, middle, back, sides. The tip is where the sweetness hits. Okay. Middle is the savory. Spice is in the back. Now, we're not at a college party here, for example, so don't, don't be kicking it back too much. Here. <laughs> oh, I guess I do like bourbon. So, anyway. <laughs> so this one has notes of creme brulee, uh, bananas. Creme brulee. And um, a little bit of, like, uh, cinnamon. What's the name of this one? This one's Seventeen ninety-two. Okay. Very available. How much? About 40 bucks. Okay. What's this next one? This is the rarest of the bunch. This is a Doc Swenson's 15-year-old. Uh, uh, Okay. Very rare, only uh, less than, I think, a thousand bottles on the market. And how much would this go for? This one's about $300. Wow. Okay. So remember your training. I'll look quick. My mouth is open. Okay. And then, oh. What do you think? Expensive. <laughs> <laughs> what, what should I be tasting? So with this one, uh, I get a lot of like raisin bread, uh, a lot of raisin like bread. <laughs> black, black fruits. With butter on it or not? You know what? I'm not getting the butter on this one. <laughs> not getting the butter on this one, but it's uh, tasty. definitely got a lot of savory notes there too. I have to tell you, fruits. Fred, it's warming the cockles of my heart. You know, that, they call that the Kentucky hug. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go for our last one. All right, this is Old Elk, distilled in Indiana, blended in Colorado. Also about 35, 40 bucks. Okay. I'm going to be really drunk after this. Cheers. Cheers. Quite a bit different. I taste pizza. Uh, you know what? I was going to say like dough, bread, doughy bread. <laughs> Look at this. We've, Fred, got, we've already got a master taster you. on the set. So by the way, uh, you have a book out. Yeah, this is uh, Bourbon Curious. This basically takes you teaches you how to taste, gives you everybody's recipes, and tells you why bourbon is so unique and tastes the way it does. And where can people find you? I know you're on social media. Yeah, go to fredminnick.com. I've got a YouTube channel where I do uh, tastings. I also have a podcast called The Fred Minnick Show where I interview celebrities like Peyton Manning, Killer Mike, Ludacris. We drink bourbon and talk about their careers. Well, blame it on the ah, 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 alcohol. Uh -oh. Anyway, thank you so much. Cheers. What was uh, your favorite? I think I'm going to go for the expensive, like if I'm going to drink bourbon, I'm going for the expensive one, even right. though, you know, my palate is not as good as yours. Well, in time, we shall study. Okay, yes, obviously <laughs> more research needs to be done. We'll be right back with Good Day New York. Thank Cheers. you, Fred Minnick. Absolutely. <laughs> I think that's mine. I have lipstick on oh. it.